The Disaster Prevention Information Dissemination System is based on Japan's information technologies. Earthquakes and tsunamis are used as examples. The earthquake early warning is the first information issued after a major earthquake. It warns the public of imminent violent shaking. When an earthquake occurs, seismic waves propagate from its focal point. Such waves mainly consist of primary waves and secondary waves. S waves propagate more slowly than P waves, but move with higher amplitude and cause greater damage. P waves travel at approximately 7 kilometers per second, while S waves travel at approximately 4 kilometers per second. The earthquake early warning makes use of this velocity difference to warn the public of imminent violent shaking caused by the S waves. Let's look at how disaster prevention information, including the earthquake early warning, was communicated to people during the Great East Japan Earthquake on March 11, 2011. The earthquake occurred at 1446 on March 11th. A seismometer near the hypercenter detected the P wave and immediately transmitted the data to the Japan Meteorological Agency, which used the data to calculate the location of the hypercenter, the magnitude, and the seismic intensities. 8.6 seconds after the detection of the P wave at the nearest seismometer, the Japan Meteorological Agency issued an earthquake early warning to television stations and other media. The earthquake early warning was immediately broadcast to the public through television and radio, the OneSeg mobile television service, and sirens, etc. The warning was issued prior to the arrival of the S wave, allowing people to prepare for strong shaking. The warning was simultaneously and automatically communicated to disaster prevention organizations and local governments through the J-Alert satellite system, wireless networks, and other networks. 90 seconds after the earthquake, the Japan Meteorological Agency issued seismic intensity information for the regions in which major shaking had been observed. Tsunami warnings and advisories were issued approximately three minutes after the earthquake. Through television and radio broadcasts, mobile phones, the J-Alert satellite system, and wireless networks, disaster information was communicated to the public and disaster prevention organizations before the tsunami hit the coastal areas, thereby saving a number of lives. A disaster strikes when everyone has become complacent about disaster prevention. Timely disaster prevention information is essential for saving many lives. The information dissemination system needs to be well prepared.